Chemistry lecture number 98, acid-base titration problems. If you have 10 liters of 8 molar hydrochloric acid, how many moles of H plus are in solution? Well, one way to do it is to use this formula. The moles of H plus that are in solution is going to be equal to the molarity of the solution times the volume of the solution. So MA is the molarity of the acid, in this place 8 molar, or 8 moles per liter. And the volume of the acid, VA, is 10 liters, which is what we get from right here. So if we just multiply uh, the molarity of the acid times the volume of the acid, that'll tell you how many moles of H plus are in solution. So MA is 8 moles per liter. VA is 10 liters. 8 times 10, and then the liters cancel, gives us 80 moles. So this volume of acid at this concentration will have that many moles of H plus inside of it. If you have three liters of four molar sodium hydroxide, how many moles of hydroxide are in solution? So it's sort of a similar uh, process. The moles of hydroxide is gonna be the concentration or the molarity of the base times the volume of the base. So MB, the molarity of the base is four moles per liter see, four molar sodium hydroxide. The volume of the base is three liters. So, moles hydroxide is MV times VB, four times three, and then the liters cancel. Leaves us with 12 moles of hydroxide. So, if you have this volume of solution at this concentration, it's gonna have that many moles of hydroxide in it. Now when acids and bases neutralize each other, the moles of acid equal the moles of uh, base. So a neutral solution has equal amounts of H plus and OH in it. Now we can use the above formula to calculate the molarity when an acid of unknown concentration is titrated with a base of known concentration. It takes 20 mils of 4 molar sodium hydroxide to neutralize 5 mils of hydrochloric acid solution. What is the concentration of the hydrochloric acid solution? So the reaction is hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide form water and uh, sodium chloride. So the molarity of the acid is what we're trying to find. They're asking what is the concentration of the HCl. The volume of the acid, well it says 5 mils of HCl, so it's 5 mils. Molarity of the base. 4 molar NaOH, so it's going to be 4 molar. The volume of the base, 20 mils of sodium hydroxide, so the volume of the base is 20. So the formula we'll use is MAVA equals MBVB. The two solutions have neutralized each other, so these expressions have to be equal. So MA is what we're solving for. VA, 5. MB, 4. Volume of the base, 20. So then if you solve for MA, and then MA is just going to be equal to 4 times 20 divided by 5, and you'll get 16. So that's the concentration of the uh, acid solution. Okay? So what it means is that uh, if it takes this volume of base at this concentration to neutralize 5 mils of the acid, the concentration of the acid has to be 16 molar. Now we can use any unit of volume we want as long as we use the same unit for both acid and base. In this previous problem, um, we used milliliters of acid and milliliters of base. It could have been liters of acid and liters of base. It doesn't matter what units as long as they're the same volume units. Now what if sulfuric acid was being neutralized? Now sulfuric acid, it can produce two moles of H plus when you put it in water. Now there's a sub subscript two below the H in H2SO4. See this two right here? So uh, we need to modify our formula to account for the fact that one mole of H2SO4 produces two moles of H plus. So what we're going to do is we're going to let SA equal subscript of H in the acid. Now the original formula I gave you was moles of H plus is MA times VA, but since this acid produces two 
h plus is, we have to multiply it times 2, or we have to multiply it times the subscript of the acid right there. All right. So we're going to use this formula for polyprotic acids that produce more than one mole of H+. Plus. Now what if calcium hydroxide was being neutralized? Well, calcium hydroxide produces two moles of hydroxide when placed in solution. All right. So one mole of base produces two moles of OH negative. So notice the subscript 2 below the OH. See? Right there. So again, we need to modify our formula to account for multiple hydroxides. Okay. So we're going to let SB be the subscript of OH in the base. And the original formula I gave you was just moles of hydroxide equals MB and VB. In this case, one mole of base produces two moles of hydroxide, so we have to account for the two. So we have to multiply it times two, or we have to multiply it times the subscript of the base right here. So we're going to use this as an expression for the moles of hydroxide that are used to neutralize an acid. So the final titration formula that we're going to use is MAVASA equals MB, VB, and SB. And I've made a chart to sort of help you uh, understand what types of uh, subscripts you use for different types of acids and bases. So for example, HCl, the subscript of this acid would be 1. There's only one single hydrogen right here, so SA implicitly is 1. H2SO4, well, the subscript of the acid is 2. H3PO4, subscript of the acid is 3. So H2SO4 and H3PO4 are polyprotic acids that uh, produce 2 and 3 hydrogen ions, respectively. For the base, sodium hydroxide, well, there's only a single OH right here. I mean, one way of looking at it is saying, put that in parentheses and putting a 1 outside. So there's only a single hydroxide. Subscript of the base is 1. Calcium hydroxide, well, there's a 2 right there, so there are two hydroxides, so SB is 2. All right? So that's how you figure out what SA and SB are. Let's try a problem. If 60 mils of 0.4 molar sulfuric acid solution neutralize 15 mils of potassium hydroxide solution. Find the concentration of potassium hydroxide solution. So here's the reaction, sulfuric acid and potassium hydroxide form water and potassium sulfate. If we look at this problem, we can fill in what we need and what they give us. Molarity of the acid, well, 0.4 molar H2SO4, so it's 0.4. Volume of the acid, 60 mils of H2SO4. Subscript of the acid, well H2, so SA is 2. MB, well that's what we're going to find. It says find the concentration of KOH. So we're going to solve for MB. Volume of the base, well it says 15 mils of KOH. So it's 15. Subscript of the base, well KOH, there's only a single hydroxide. All right, and we can think of it as this being in parentheses with a one on the outside. So there's only a single hydroxide, so SB is one. All right, our formula is MAVASA equals MBVBSB. Let's fill in the numbers. MA is 0.4, VA is 60, SA is two. MB, well, we're gonna solve for that. VB is 15, SB is one. So to solve for MB, MB is going to be uh, this whole thing divided by uh, these guys. So MB is going to be 0 0.4 times 60 times 2 divided by 15 times 1. And if you grind this out, you'll get 3.20 molar of uh, KOH solution. All right. So what this answer means is that um, if you had this volume of acid at this strength requiring this volume of uh, base, the concentration of the KOH has to be 3.2 in order for it to neutralize this volume of acid at that concentration. Let's try one more. <clears throat> Phosphoric acid and barium hydroxide react to form water and barium phosphate. So if 25 mils of 0.823 molar phosphoric acid require 95.5 milliliters of barium hydroxide for complete neutralization, what is the concentration of the barium hydroxide solution? Well, let's write out our uh, variables. Molarity of the acid, 
Well, here's the acid and it's 0.823 molar. 0.823. Volume of the acid, 25 mils of H3PO4, so it's 25. Subscript of the acid, H3PO4, so SA is 3. Mm -hmm. Molarity of the base, that's what we're going to find. It says, what is the concentration of the barium hydroxide? Volume of the base, 95.5 mils of barium hydroxide, so it's 95.5. Subscript of the base, there's a 2 outside of the hydroxide, so SB is 2. All right, our formula, MAVASA equals MBVBSB. Molarity of the acid, 0.823. Volume of the acid, 25. Subscript of the acid, 3. Molarity of the base, unknown, we'll just leave that. Volume of the base is 95.5. Subscript of the base, uh, SB is 2. So, let's solve for MB. MB is going to be equal to this divided by these two numbers. So MB is going to be 0 0.823 times 25 times 3 divided by 95.5 times 2. All right, and if you grind this out, you get 0 0.323 molar of uh, barium hydroxide solution. Okay, so what this answer means is that if you want to neutralize this volume of acid at this concentration with only 95 mils of barium hydroxide, the concentration of the barium hydroxide has to be 0.323 in order to neutralize uh, this amount of acid at this concentration. For a PDF transcript of this lecture, go to www.richardlouis.com. This has been chemistry lecture number 98, acid-based titration problems.